Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Now before we get cracking on the next issue of Build the DeLorean, there's a couple of things I want to show you in it that I've done now, so when you see them in the video, you're not going to freak out and think, my bits aren't like that. And it's all to do with the uh, switches and circuits that you're going to see in a minute. Um, I've painted some of these uh, buttons silver, I don't know if you can see that. I'll explain why I've done that later. And uh, they give you a template to put over one of the time circuits, which has got the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on. It looks god awful. I had to do something. Anything you do to that, believe me, would look a lot better. You could just stick Christmas paper on it. It would look better. So I've made my own decals, as you can see on here, through um, Cole's Paint Shop Pro. And I've made uh, it looking a bit like that, a bit better than it was with the actual things. Now, if you want templates and stuff like that, um, there's guys over on the Facebook group which uh, are doing things like that. So it is worth checking them out and seeing what they're up to and stuff like that. But uh, I've made my own uh, because anything, as I said, was better than the dreaded one, two, three, four, five, six thing. Anyway, with that introduction done, here is issue 43 of Eagle Boss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, so once again, I've laid everything out. So uh, let me just show you what we've got first. Uh, basically, that's all the parts. And again, the screws come in this part, so we haven't got to worry about them. Oh, let's move that over so you can see it. Uh, and then we've got one, two, three, four pages of building stuff. Uh, that's the rest of the magazine. Uh, coming from the next issue, it looks like we've got the dashboard coming, so that's going to be excellent. And look, I've laid stuff out again, just like so. Make sure I've got everything. Nice little fiddly bits there. Look at this little red thing here. That's going to be fun. Okay, so first things first. We are going to be pointing this all the way to the side. And step one is place the posts. So we're going to be needing this uh, gold bit here. And then we're going to be needing uh, this section here. On this section, this will be the side that this uh, little thing that I made goes on. Uh, but we're not doing that yet. Uh, it's already got a pre-printed on the other side there. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is putting this um, gold, what is it, like dial circuits or something like that, onto this image there. As you can see, you've only got a large and a small um, sort of like extruding bit of plastic, which can only go in one place. So that's going to fit into there just like so. Bada bing. Okay, next we're going to be securing that with an AP screw. Seems like AP screws is the uh, the paradox screws that you go to in this build because uh, it seems like everything uses them. Oh, I can't even open this. You know what? I'm not even going to muck around with it. Let's just get the knife to it. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Get rid of that. Okay, so AP screw. We're only putting one AP screw in to secure this. So I'm going to hold that with my finger. Turn it round. I've already loaded a screw up and it can only go in the one hole just there actually let's show you on the side camera we don't use the side camera as much as we should okay so that's that one in perfectly nice and secure okay next one we're going to be doing is step three we've got this little glass uh area which again has got a pre-printed decal on the top of it so we haven't got to worry about that uh, that's just going to be fitting this way around on the end here now, this is just basically balanced on there at the moment, as you can see. And it's not being held in by anything. And I think the reason for that is because step four, which is this section here, it's like a little uh, Y-shaped, T-shaped thing, uh, is going to be fitting into the hole that's just been left there. This, once it's in, should hold the whole thing together. So you need to make sure that when this is down, oops, that when you push this in, there we go it holds everything together so that now won't fall out uh and obviously in the film he uses this and he keeps tur he turns this around to different places to uh is initiate the time circuit so uh you really you obviously don't glue that in whatever you do do not glue that in uh but that looks pretty cool and once again on the side camera i'll show you with the decal there that's what that's looking like okay uh once you've done that we're going to be on step five which is this little red button here uh it's just going to go in the hole that we've got left on there uh so we put the red button in now i've already been advised on this that obviously you don't need to glue this but you are going to need to put this in with a little bit of force <sighs> which i've just done there oh and that goes in uh if you are fussy you might want to rotate that round because it does say reset on there um, but it's whatever way round you want that. Uh, I've got mine just uh, horizontal at the moment, but I'm guessing once that's in, that's going to be a pain to get out unless you push it from the bottom. 
Uh, but I've pushed that in, so I've got my reset button there. That was step five. Right, step six, we're going to be bringing over this lead here. Now, in the picture, I'll put a picture up here of the actual um, switches. Uh, they have got all these are silver. This one's a black with a green switch over the top of it, and this one's just a black flick switch. That's why I painted these ones silver and just left these as black. Uh, but what we're going to be doing with this, we're going to be attaching the, the plate to the back of it. Um, it can only go on one way because of the way it's detailed here. Uh, but what you're going to what you're going to want is that uh, these have got extruding plastics coming out, which is slightly off center. You want them to be facing further to the bottom. So when this comes up, just like that it will fit perfectly in there just like that and that's going to be secured in with ap screws again of course it's going to be ap screws it's always ap screws right let's get this loaded up at least i know i'm putting this on the right way uh we're securing it uh the screws through the other way it's coming through the switch uh the switch way into that back plate there so, God, this is fiddly, isn't it? All right, okay, let's get that around there. As soon as I've got one screw in, that'd be so bad. There we go. So the first screw's going in. Not going to tighten that up too much because obviously I've got to put the other one in and get that lined up as well. So we'll do that. Okay, that one's gone in okay as well. Now I can do it nice and tight tight and I'll make this one tight as well perfecto okay uh, next one we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting uh, blah, 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 blah. we're going to be putting this that we made into the switches so this is going to be going into the bottom this is step eight now uh, this again can only fit in one way because once this is in like that oops my tops come off again I'll put that back on in a second uh, once that's come off like that, it's going to line these two holes up with the two holes in the base there. So once that's all lined up, they're going to be secured with AP screws again. I don't know why I needed to look at that. We knew that was going to be AP screws. I think that top just fell off because of uh, when I turned that dial, it, it slipped out. <laughs> so that's not good. I'm going to put that on before I put the decal on. But there was no way I was going to do this video with the decal they sent us. And uh, Eagle Moss, no matter how much I like the build, that was pathetic. The decal that was sent. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. You can't just put one, two, three, four, five, six on it. Once again, I will show you what it was supposed to look like. There we go. That's perfect. So we've got that in. We've got the switches in. They are all uh, available to press. Uh, that was step 10 completed. So we've got it looking like that. Both sides there. Show you the side camera as well. Looking like that. Okay, so step 11 now. We're going to be putting the decal on. Now, when I did this decal, uh, first of all, you'll notice a couple of uh, differences. I've made the actual stencils uh, with that, and I used a Dymo font for a paint shop. Um, but I, I glued it to the back of the, uh, the thing that we actually get because that's got a, an adhesive on the back of it. So when I pour this adhesive off, it should fit onto this absolutely lovely. So I'll put that on now. It can only go on one way because these switches are going to go through the holes. Now, because I have made my own template, it's probably going to be a bit difficult to put them on to start off with. So I'm just going to cut away just while I make these holes a little bit bigger. Okay, so when that's done, that's what it's going to look like there. Let's show you that on the side camera. As a matter of fact, you probably see it better on the, the main camera there. So that's all my decals and the switches done there. Okay, so right, next one, we've got step 13. We're going to be bringing that console back over. Move this out of the way. Uh, and this is going to be slotting down into this section here. Just like that. And it faces, uh, basically, so that the, the section you put in here will be facing the time circuit, so they'll be matching with each other. Uh, it can only fit in one way. It actually just fits in perfectly its own. It's not going to need any uh, forcing or anything like that on there. Uh, so once that's in, that's going to be held in with blah, 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 FP screws. Oh, I thought they were going to say it's going to be AP, but no, FP screws. Let's get that done. Get the FP screws out here. Load it up. I'm going to hold it from just the top, I think. There we go. And get that screwed in. Uh, 
that's the first one in. And the next FP screw. It is good that it can only go in one way. I like things like that. <laughs> amount of errors I've been making lately. Right, okay. So that's that one in. That's the next screw in. So that's going to look just like that. Both sides there. Just like that. And like that. And then next we've got... Uh, we're going to be putting this back around there because all of these are going to be following each other out the back of this unit here. So that's going to fit flush just like that. And uh, we're going to be putting the last piece in, which is this one here. Uh, it can only go in one way, but basically they've got the, um, the the side with all of this high voltage on and all that facing the driver. The driver being that they're going to sit here. So this is going to be sitting just like that. And this is going to be secured again with FP screws. So uh, I'm going to just turn this upside down, load up couple of FP screws and get them in these two holes which we got down the bottom here so there's the first hole that's in nice and tight load up the next one nice and tightly Perfect, and that is completed. That's all we have to do in this issue. That's pretty much the center console done. Look at that. How cool is that? So that's it from that side there and that side there. I'm pretty impressed with that. And I mean, when this eventually fits on the carpet, I'll bring that over actually. Still freshly used from where I was testing those circuits, but obviously that's going to sit on, oh God, <laughs> just like that. So it's going to look a little bit like that. Yes, I know you can see me. I've put mats in the car. I just wanted to see what that looks like. It's just me mucking around. <laughs> anyway, listen, I hope you like that uh, video. That's issue 43. It's going to be a month now, I reckon, before the next one's come out, which will be 44, 45, 46, and 47. Hope you like that video. Take care.